I'd like to put out a couple of quick questions here, and if we can keep the uh, the answers uh, t- brief and timely, we'll be able to ask a question of both. This is for Arif. Arif, uh, you talked about discovery before protection. What are the different techniques that can be applied to reduce false positives? Yes, thank you, Sal. Um, yeah, so I did touch upon that a little bit. Uh, when when you're doing the discovery, of course, uh, you you start off with a regex pattern, right? Just to you know narrow things down. Uh, but before you report or before you say I have found what I was looking for, uh, you know, you you can go into a lot of validation. You need to to reduce the false positive. Uh, now those validations could be programmatic logic. Uh, for example, VIN numbers, uh, they have a specific programmatic logic how to, to determine if it is a VIN number that you found or not. And, you know, you can look at the Java code for that. Uh, or, you know, I talked about uh, a context awareness that I found this specific element, but it is only sensitive if it is found with something else. And if that something else is not in the vicinity, then this particular element is not deemed sensitive. Uh, other techniques you can look do is, is, is lookup lists. You can have a, uh, for example, if you're looking for an employee ID, uh, you can have all the employee ID list uh, as a lookup. And once you find a pattern, you look for, you know, the, the if found with or vicinity and do other logic. And then at the end, you can do a lookup and say, okay, I've passed all the other checks. Is this specific ID is part of the list that I'm looking for? And then make a decision that you found what you were looking for. The other things uh, you can also look at is uh, a level of confidence number, right? You can you can allocate sort of a confidence threshold and say I am ninety percent confident or sixty percent confident that I found what I was looking for. And then when you're making those decisions, you can report on above the threshold and then take the next step. So there are multiple things you can do for reducing the false positive. Thank you, Arif Khan. Uh, Debbie Reynolds, I have a quick question for you. If you could do it bullet point style, because we only have about a minute. How can businesses reduce their risk when handling sensitive data? Thank you. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Arif. Um, In terms of businesses reducing their risk, they should minimize the amount of data that they're collecting. They need to understand what is sensitive and what is not, because sensitive data as it relates to regulation, there's a special category of information and understand how it's protected and then making sure they educate their organization at all levels about sensitive data and making sure the people, only the people who need to see that data can see it. And then, and then understand the regulations and the location of where their customers are about what their obligations are to handle sensitive data. 